This is the third and last part of the tutorial. We will continue from where we left off last time. In this part, the purpose will be blowing away our particles. I will begin by going inside my particle emitter node, then I will go inside my popnet node. Here I will create a wind node by hitting tab, then I will begin writing the word wind, and I will create my wind node. I will connect the output of my source node to the input of my wind node, and I will make my wind node visible. Now if I hit rewind and play, I can see no change in my viewport, and that's because in the attributes of my wind node, the wind attribute is set to zero. After some tests have done, I found that 1.5 will be a good value to begin with, so I'll give the x component of my wind attribute a 1.5 value, I will hit rewind and play, and here I can begin to see some movement happening in my viewport. My particles are now moving, but they are now moving as one block, and that's not what I want. I want to give some randomness to the movement of my particles. So I will randomize the x component of my wind attribute, based both on the frame number and on the index of each particle. After some tests, I found that using two random functions, one for each of my randomizing parameters, will give me a better result in my case. The random function returns a value between 0 and 1 based on the parameter passed to it. So I will begin writing the function rend. I'll give it $pt as a parameter. This $pt is the variable that will give me the index of each particle emitted from my source node. Then I will use the random function another time, and this time I will base the randomization on the number of the frame amount, so I'll pass the $f variable to it. So now, the forces acting on our particles are randomized based on the frame number and on the index of each particle. I'll hit rewind and play. Now I can see some randomization taking place, I can see some relative movement between my particles, but this is not enough, they are still looking like moving all together. To add some more randomness, since the effect till now looks a little bit boring, I'll go to the noise tab of my wind node. I'll give it a little bit of turbulence, I'll take the turbulence from 0 to 1, then I will change the amplitude values, I'll take the x component of the amplitude from 0 to 4, I'll take the y component from 0 to 1, and the z component from 0 to 3. And of course, I obtained those values after some tests I did. Now I'll hit rewind and play and I'll see what I'll get. You can see that now the effect is beginning to look nice. I'll replay it again so you can see it. Maybe it's a little bit slow, so I'll take the scale attribute and I'll scale it up from 1 to 4 for example. I'll hit rewind and play. Now the effect is taking place faster which looks better to me. Here we come to the end of the third part, and the end of this tutorial, in which we learned how to transfer colors from an image to particles, then we learned how to create and set an initial state for our particles, then how to create some wind effect blowing our particles away. Hope I helped, thank you for watching.